Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple treatment that you can add to your regimen to keep your hair super nice and moisturized, which in turn will help you to retain length and cause your hair to grow longer and healthier. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now before we get into the video, I want to wish you guys a very happy and prosperous new year. Uh, thank you so much for all your love and your support in the year 2022. I really really appreciate it. So let's hop right into the video. The first ingredient I'm going to need for today's recipe guys will be some carrots. So I'm using um, one carrot here. Well, I washed it and essentially grated it on that little grater that you saw. And I'm just transferring it into this little jar in which I'm going to add my other ingredients now carrots are high in a beta carotene and this helps to keep your hair soft and shiny vitamin a and e in carrot also help to stimulate hair growth and make our roots nice and strong next we have some chopped okra and this is great also at moisturizing dry scalp and getting rid of dandruff which in turn can cause to hair loss so if you have a scalp that's full of dandruff guys your hair is very likely that it's going to fall um so it's, it's important that if you are trying to grow healthy hair that you keep your scalp nice and healthy as well so after adding that i went in as well with some aloe vera just a little bit of that aloe vera again is super amazing for hair growth because so high in antioxidants which helps to um, fight free ra uh, radicals it also has amazing um, properties when it comes to like moisturizing the hair preventing downdraft and essentially um, when it comes to sort of stimulating hair growth as well so I cut that into small pieces added that to the same jar now I added some hot water to this guys and I'm gonna cover it and allow it to infuse for about five to ten hours now do not let this sit overnight or if you are going to let it sit overnight guys make sure that it stays in the fridge and that's just to prevent it from growing microorganisms so essentially i just let it sit in the warm corner of the house while i was working on other things and then essentially i came back to it when i was ready so i'm going to show you what consistency we get um after this has infused so notice that the liquid has darkened a little bit in color and also the alcohol has turned kind of like dark, uh, dark green and that's how you can't know that this is ready so just gonna go ahead and strain it um, so I'm using a wig cap to do this but feel free to have to use any other thing that you may have um, available Now can you notice how this liquid is a little bit slimy in texture and that's essentially what we want because this will be super amazing when it comes to detangling your hair and also um, moisturizing it so super super amazing and it's also very nutritious for your scalp essentially so um, after straining it essentially I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in a spray bottle um, so that it's easier for me to use obviously if you have an applicator bottle it will be so much better um, than a spray bottle but it works well in a spray bottle as well um, so you just pop that in there and then you're pretty much ready to use it now if you made it to this point of the video and you still haven't thumbs up please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up guys I would really appreciate it and also if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you like this kind of content definitely don't forget to subscribe and also hit your notification bell so you know next time I post a new video so we're going to move on to the next part of the video where i'm going to show you how i'm applying it to my hair so i decided to do a bit of protective styling you can notice here i'm starting to lose my edges guys postnatal shedding is definitely happening at the moment some areas around the front of my hair is starting to lose hair and i can literally feel my scalp like how it's so smooth and shiny um so at the time that i recorded this video it wasn't as bad but right now it's actually worse um i think i might do another video where i'll show you guys what my edges look like right now um so yeah post shedding has definitely kicked in and also i'm losing hair not only at the front of my hair but like throughout because essentially it sheds right from the roots 
um, so this I know this would definitely affect my hair thickness and also possibly you know my hair length I'm actually due a trim as well so I might actually end up trimming my hair at some point when this whole postnatal shedding thing has stopped so at the moment because my hair I'm trying to protect it so I put in this um, braids in um, so I don't know exactly if I have finished shedding or not it's when I take this off that I'll really find out what's happened <laughs> to my hair essentially but anyways so I did that bit of my hair off camera guys and I just thought I'll come and show you um, the rest of my hair essentially because yeah it does take some time to get through so what I normally do as you probably know if you've been working with me um, from the start I always work on my hair in sections it's just easier for me to manage it that way um, the thing about long hair as well that you have to be aware of managing long hair is a lot harder guys honestly when your hair is shorter sometimes it is a plus because it's so much quicker pretty easy to handle but the moment it starts to retain length like you have a bit of length to it it's definitely more work to um to work on it essentially so this section just makes it so much easier for me to work through it you may not necessarily need the sections if your hair is not at this stage yet um so just do what works for you so essentially i just applied this throughout my hair just like you saw and then i went in with my moisturizing hair butter i've got this on my website so i use this to seal the moisture in my hair it contains aloe vera shea butter and also other amazing oils and it's super amazing at sealing the moisture in the hair and keeping it nice and shiny at the same time so after that guys i just use a white tooth comb and i properly detangled my hair some of you guys think i don't detangle my hair from the roots i don't know what will make you think that i don't detangle my hair from the roots like who doesn't detangle their hair from the roots and if i don't like my hair is going to be so full of knots and so full of tangos. I just think it's ridiculous to think that way. But anyways, um, if you're not detangling your hair from the roots, guys, please go ahead and detangle your hair from the roots. I always, always detangle my hair all the way to the roots because that's super important at getting rid of, you know, all the shed hair, all the tangos, all the knots and all of that. Because over time, it is going to build up and it's going to be a lot harder to get it out of your hair, essentially, without causing any breakage so after i did that guys i just went ahead and i did um what's it called a braid and i'm just going to move on to the next section repeat again until the rest of my hair is completely done the one thing about this um conditioner is that it's super moisturizing just like i said um when you apply it to the hair you can instantly feel how moisturized it is even if it was really dry initially so it's super amazing now one thing you need to be aware of when it comes to growing you know long hair healthy hair and all of that is that it doesn't just come from this it doesn't just come from like this diys like i always say guys you also need to focus on your nutrition exercise water intake and basically like all of those things because that also impacts on your hair growth um but obviously you also need to take care of the hair that's going out of your scalp for you to be able to retain length over time but it all starts from the inside essentially so um i'm saying this just to say that yes these diys do work and do help but don't forget that other aspect as well because it's also super important when it comes to growing healthy strong and basically just long hair if that's what your goal is you need to retain that moisture over moisture you need to retain that length over time and moisture is what's going to he help you um do that so essentially i'm just doing that and i'm going to repeat it until the rest of my hair is completely done um unfortunately i'm not going to show how i do my entire hair into this video because the video is extremely long but i literally just put um these braids in my hair and when i want to go somewhere i just slap a wig on at home i just don't bother really um but anyways is it works really well for me right now given that i'm quite busy so i don't really have to think about my hair um but i will be taking these braids off at some point and i will show you guys how i do it but this is what it looks like when i was completely done my hair was super moisturized really shiny and yeah i really really loved it so i hope you guys will go ahead and try this out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below I hope you've enjoyed the video please don't forget to thumbs up 
and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already also share this video with that friend or that family member that you believe could learn something or benefit from the video and yeah i'll catch you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye